Hey guys, Will here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about this. Not this, but these things. The Mavic Mini Propeller Guards. Stay tuned. Now you can find these things included with the Fly More Combo. Um, uh, the reason I wanted to do a review about this is because uh, I don't want to really do a review about the Mavic Mini because there's so many out there on YouTube and I think people are quite sick of it. But I find that there's a lot of holes and different information out there. So I would like to fill in those kind of holes. So if you have any questions about the Mavic Mini, do not hesitate to ask me because I can test it for you, hopefully. So uh, let me go on. This will be talking about the these propeller guards and um, about the hover time because that's information I couldn't really find about how this affects the hover time and maybe the outside how would be how would it affect the performance outside so that's what I kind of tested and I'll, I'll give you the my results let me just show you how to install it on one side so the front slides in like so here and then the back would slide in like here and then you just push it in like that yada yada and flip these over snap it in and the back side flip it over and snap it into place like so and just do that on both sides quite easy to do and then it fully protects the propeller guards as advertised okay so these propeller guards are made for beginners it's made to be so you can fly indoors safely um, made for places with obstacles and um, it should reduce the flight time to about 18 minutes, which is, I think, around the normal flight time will be out around 28. So there is a loss. Um, they stated as the weight as 23.1 grams per piece. No, they, they stated 23.1 grams, one piece. So that actually got me confused. So at least I can answer this question. How much do they actually weigh? Because... Do they mean that one piece as one piece as one set, or do they mean one piece as there are two pieces per the whole set? So zeroed out and it weighs 26 grams. Aha! So 26 grams. Let's weigh the other side. 26 grams as well. All right. So what are we looking at? 51 should be 51 or 52. Yeah. So roughly around 51 in total. It's actually more than they say it weighs. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's more. So as you can imagine, this is a 250 or 249, if you want to be totally accurate, 200, like around 250 gram drone that you have a 50 gram uh, accessory hanging on top of it. So as you can imagine, it's going to pull it down. It's definitely going to have some kind of effect to it. Uh, other things they mentioned, radius is 71 point. 71 millimeters uh, the dimension after mounting it will be 318 by 267 by 66 millimeters so uh, I'm assuming they means that is the dimension of it the whole drone including that mounted on top of it okay now it's time for the measure the measurements I have found and so starting with the stock without the, the props um, the prop guards, the alone unit, the DJI Mavic Mini, can hover, and I did this hovering indoors in a uh, very in, indoors inside my own apartment. To and my apartment's not on the ground level, so it can simulate like a elevated position. So it's roughly about 15 meters in the air equivalent, and then I used a fan in, 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 to blow against the drone itself as a null or variable. And uh, the reason I did this is that I, so that I can have something consistent rather than just flying it outside um, where the wind could maybe possibly change and um, I just won't have as accurate data. So uh, that's what I did the hovering test within my living room to, to fly it around. Um, I measured the decibel, I measured the flight time on the hovering and, and then I noticed the behavior of it as well. So let's start stock. Uh, rock solid without these prop guards rock solid it just hovers as long as there's bright enough light and that is the most important thing you have to remember when it's indoors there's no gps and it's relying on the vps the vis visual positioning system that's just tracking whatever kind of pattern on the ground 
as to remain uh, stable and in place. Um, it needs that light to uh, be able to track the ground. So well lit area. It is so stable that there's actually like a like a harmonic sound that the motors actually start harmonizing because they're running at the same exact uh, speed and it's like almost sounds to me it sounds like a like you know the Dolby sound that you hear inside like they do that Dolby testing in the movie theater or something like that so yeah it's quite amazing how how well tuned this uh, machine is uh, they did a really great job DJI on, on uh, designing this thing so really rock solid when there's just no other variable it's just in dead wind and hovering so yeah I got about uh, my decibel reading was 70.6 decibels uh, fl uh flight hover time was 26 minutes and 31 seconds and that was down to i ran it through to reach critical battery and auto landed that had uh three percent left <coughs> so next up the stock with the prop guard so let's how let's see how the prop guard changes the flight time so stock with this prop guard we're looking at an increase of decibels so you can tell it's working harder 75.9 decibels instead of 70.6 decibels so you have that increase of like uh like 5.3 decibels so you can tell it's actually working harder. it's almost as equivalent as this uh drone flying at a high altitude so it just have to spin and work harder just to carry the additional payload of course in addition you have to uh activate there's a switch to activate the, the that you have payload otherwise it's going to have a pop-up on the screen saying that oh it detects extra weight on on the device so um and what i think that switch does is i think what it does is it limits like some kind of like uh, uh maybe some performance feature because they don't want you to screw things up so i think it maybe it limits the speed or something like that so you don't, you don't go crazy with it so next we have the stock without the prop guards with a win so i used a fan a fan pointing at the at the drone at a slight angle on sideways and this is to uh replicate a wind the side wind so if this is considering the the prop guards with uh wind being a factor so somewhere where i read somebody said that the prop guards uh catches in the wind a lot so i wasn't really sure about that you know you read things on youtube comments you, you're not really sure what is uh, true and what it's not so i have to test it out and then I can I'll let you know, I'll give you the facts. And so what I found with the fan running against it, that they're from stock, just the stock versus the, the wind, uh, the decibel reading is 73.3 point, uh, decibels instead of the 70.6. So you have that increase of what, like a 2.7 decibel increase. And then the flight time is 26 minutes and five seconds so decrease of about maybe th around 30 seconds half a minute not not a lot so there is you know when the wind is hitting this uh the device it's it's you do get a reduction because it has to work to stabilize uh, it's constantly working so you do get a reduction in the, the flight time so reduction in flight time not as bad as you can see as the weight of the st stock without wind and the prop guard which had a 17.57 17 minutes and 57 seconds uh flight time so uh and then so next the stock this is everything stock with the uh prop guard weight on it and the wind blowing and this is to determine how the wind if it actually affects the flight time as well uh and this uh with that running the decibels is at 76.9 decibels the most within like increase of about one decibel increase compared to just with the stock with the prop guard without the without the wind so there is increase there is increased load and of course it's extra more wobblier so uh yeah there is uh i mean logically speaking if you think about it the, there's more surface area for the wind to catch but uh, I don't think it's like, a, maybe not a lot. It's not a lot, but there should be some effect. So um, we are looking at a flight time, a 16 minutes and 58 seconds. So about a reduction of one minute. Yep, one minute. We have a one minute reduction by having the wind blowing on it. 
um, in, instead of this just uh, flying in. So then, so what to think about um, is indoor versus outdoor. So conclusion. What is the conclusion of this we have to consider uh, for people who either have this or they're considering to get it or they bought the basic one and they're considering to buy it. It's 16 US dollars and maybe they're thinking, actually, I do need it because I'm going to fly indoors or I'm going to fly in low light uh, environment. And I just I know it's going to end up bouncing off of things because that's I had my friend. He crashed his thing indoors because it just went bonkers because it does in low light. So it's something to really consider. I think it's worth it. Uh, I think it adds a uh, value that you can fly it indoors. Not only that, uh, I, the reason for me, for me to buy it, it, I wanted to fly it outdoors and fly it in like kind of scenarios where uh, maybe through, I can fly it through a playground or through a tunnel or through different kind of obstacles. So I wanted to use it for that, for something a little bit more cinematic shot, something that I'm, uh, it's more riskier than that I would want to take with my own Mavic Pro, something more expensive. So that's the reason why uh, I wanted to uh, buy that. So uh, I would say that in and how it affects the stock performance. Indoor, of course, indoor, you won't have any crosswind, so you have the weight. Uh, DJ claims 18 minutes. It is 18 minutes. I got 17 minutes and 59, 57 seconds. Uh, it's pretty accurate. That's just hovering, of course, when you're flying around, you'll affect the, the flight time. You're just not going to get, you're just going to have a, a kind of big reduction because of the weight alone. So uh, that is something to consider. Maybe you want to pick up more batteries or not, or if it's just enough for you. That's just something to consider. So yes, uh, there will be a reduction in flight time from indoors. Now, if you fly this outdoors where there's wind, that's another variable uh, besides just the weight. Uh, yes, it should affect it. Uh, not as bad as I th thought it would. Um, it's not horrendous. And that sort of makes sense because uh, they want to build a, like a, a they want to build a cage that doesn't obstruct the air because if you have any obstruction of the air, the flow of the air through it will will not be good and then just won't be able to hover. So they, I think they made the surface as small as possible to catch within any wind. So it's not horrible. I wouldn't say that uh, you're probably not, it's not going to blow your thing away. I mean, that's one of the biggest dangers of a Mav Mavic Mini. A lot of people who lost it, actually, it's because they, they were in a strong wind situation, but the strong wind situation is not catching. It's not because it's catching, you know, on this. It's because it's overpowering the, the drone because it has a, it just uh, has more limitations compared to a bigger drone. So that's something to consider. So uh, I hope this data is, will be helpful for you. Uh, if you have any more questions, of course, don't be afraid to ask me. Uh, I will be posting more. Uh, Mavic Mini videos, and it's all about filling in all that missing information that uh, people are just uh, not posting up. Because I know some people just they all get this Mavic Mini for free, and then they'll just post one review and one just basic review, and just just drop off the map. And uh, I don't think there's many people uh, posting like the very very detailed points. So uh, if you're interested in the very detailed points of a Mavic Mini. Uh, you should subscribe because there's definitely going to be more videos about it. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching everyone and uh, I'll catch you next time.